Hi everyone, hope you're well. Today I'm going to do a project that I've been asked to do a couple times, which is to build a line measuring jig. And because I'm building little paragliders and doing things with line tensions, it's actually really useful to have a line measuring jig. So I've bought a pretty cheap laser distance meter. These are about 20 or 25 euros or dollars. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you want to get one. And I've designed a jig around it so that we can do our measurements. But before I show you the features of that, just to let you know that we still have some spaces available for our Grand Handling Retreat. If you want to come Grand Handling with us and become more confident on launch, uh, check out the link on the description or here or here. Um, anyway, let me show you how I've built this thing. Paraglider lines are quite long. Uh, the longest lines on the paraglider we have are 7 or 8 meters long. So before you do any of this, uh, you have to figure out a place to do it. Uh, and we don't have any room that is long enough to do this, so we'll have to go from the living room into the hallway. So I've decided to use two tables. And these two are spaced around seven meters apart. So um, before you do any of this, bear in mind your own conditions, because uh, you might have a different setup to mine. So put them closer together, just for ease of seeing what's going on. And I've started with this side. Uh, this side is where the um, risers attach to. There will be a bolt through here and the riser carabiner attachment will be here. And this, uh, this used to be smaller, but I've made it longer so that the risers uh, have somewhere to sit. So this is about as long as my risers. Um, and underneath it has uh, this um, piece of plywood. I've tried to make everything out of plywood and it just slides back and forth on that. It's uh, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a channel sort of shape. And that will be a reflector for the uh, for the laser to shine on. And here I have just a, a little pulley that will have a line that will have some weight because uh, the standard in paragliding is to have a line tension to five kilos when you measure the length. Uh, to make sure it's nice and straight and a uh, known amount of stretch. So, uh, and this is just to uh, give me a couple holes to put the little reflector away when I'm not using it. Okay, so that's the riser slider side of things. And on this side, on the laser side, it's, it's pretty similar. Uh, I'm using, a, again, a board. Uh, everything is made from 18 mil plywood. And on this side, I'll have a clamp here and a clamp here as well. So it'll be nice and straight. And here we have the same channel design where this carriage rides on that rail. So on this carriage, we have the face on which that, um, that line tab will sit. Uh, and the laser uh, can measure either from the back face or from the front face. So I think I'll usually probably just use the back face and it has some buttons. Uh, so you can put the line here, pull it back, tension it to five kilos, press the button and take a reading. So it's pretty simple stuff. And I made a little plan so that when I'm in the workshop, I get my measurements right. And this is available for those of you who uh, support the channel. So if you wanna do one, it will be a great time to uh, support the channel on Patreon because it helps us keep doing things like this and give these things away for free. All right. So excited to finally have a little workshop again. So it's just a little uh, workshop garage for now, but I've set up my two workbenches there. Um, table saw, that's gonna be important. And I uh, still haven't put all the stuff in the right place, but uh, should be good enough for now.
All right, the jig is all put together. Now I have to figure out the line lengths that I'm supposed to be measuring against, like the nominal, what comes from the factory. Okay, so this is actually what I got from the uh, Nova website. And it's basically the individual line lengths for every size of the ION 2. So from that, I got the line lengths that interested me. And then I looked at the line plan and see how the lines connect to each other. And using that, I've created kind of like the sequence for each line. So from the riser all the way to the canopy. Uh, and then this kind of, this document picks up on each one of those values and adds them together. So these are what are called the check lengths, which is instead of checking each line individually, you check that the sum is roughly what it should be. Those are those check lengths that I uh, that I picked up. So uh, this is the right side that I measured, and this is the left side. And over here we can see the difference. Uh, and at first it looks really bad because uh, all the lines are shrunk and they're much smaller. But the good thing is that the right side and the left side have shrunk very similarly. One millimeter could even be down to just measuring error. So, um, so that's good. And the other thing is, if we consider this average, the uh, new zero for the wing, uh, we can compare each one of these values with the average, and we get these. Um, and if you look at these, they're not really deviating plus or minus 10 millimeters from the average, which is uh, not too bad. I mean, it could be better. Uh, this is quite a bit of shrinkage that we won't be able to just undo knots um, and get them back all to zero. Uh, but the fact that, you know, it's, it's an older wing and if all lines are shrunk more or less the same, that's, uh, that's not too bad. I need to play more with this and I will make some uh, further modifications to the jig to make it work a little bit better. Uh, I've noticed that some inconsistencies in measurement might have to do with how you hold the um, the line on the on that V block more than anything else. Uh, but yeah, it seems to work. I'm pretty happy, and I hope uh, I hope it's useful to you guys. So I hope that helps some of you that might want to try this yourself. And remember that this doesn't really replace a service from a proper certified repair center. And if you're in the UK, I recommend Aerofix. They're great. And there's a playlist here uh, on some videos I shot with them. Um, as always, I want to thank all these lovely people on Patreon for supporting the video and the channel. And I can do projects like this because of them and hopefully contribute to the knowledge in the community and just try and cool stuff. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye.